Let me see you put them up. Reach the skies, touch the stars up above. Cause it's one time for the underdog. One time for the underdog. Hello everybody, Gus here from Belgium. Welcome in this small tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how you can easily add a Vimeo video to your WordPress website. I get this question now and then. Most people use uh, YouTube, of course, but you can also add very easy, by the way, uh, Vimeo uh, video to your uh, WordPress website. So let's not waste time and jump into my screen. So um, in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can add the video. Let's say we want to add this video. So you just go to uh, Vimeo website and um, copy and paste, sorry, copy the link. Nothing special there. For this tutorial video, I'm using this uh, free plugin. It's Elementor one. It's one of the most popular ones online these days. Really good one. They have a paid one also. I will put the description uh, below. So let's um, go back to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Let's make a new page. Nothing special, really easy as always guys. So let's uh, start. Then of course, um, Vimeo page just uh, fill in a title then I click on edit with Elementor then it's loading and then it's really easy then we uh, yes this is the option we click well in fact we drag and drop it to the right video okay and then we have to watch out why you see source is on YouTube so let me first hide my face here. So, but here we click on Vimeo. Okay, and then, yeah, really straightforward as always. Then we uh, paste the link here and bam, there it's, yeah, there it is already. So um, there are some cool options we can uh, do already. For example, start time, if you want to uh, start at this, I don't know, uh, 15 seconds, whatever, you can uh, edit everything there. I uh, told in a previous video, do not, well, in fact, never enable autoplay. It's huge annoying. People do not want that. That's bad for the user experience. You can uh, click mute. I will not do that. Loop also not. Um, but this is a cool option. The control, uh, the controls color. For example, our website is a little bit, uh, what is the colors? Red, etc. So, uh, but this is blue. So for design purpose, it's not so uh, good, right? So you can um, yeah, ch change that to whatever uh, color you want. If you say uh, we want a little bit more uh, red or whatever, you can uh, you can do that. So let's say it's that. It's not the correct color coder, but uh, you know you can uh, play with that also. So here you can see if you want to hide the intro title, you see all the colors, etc. Everything is uh, auto uh, enabled. So um, intro title you can uh, you can delete that. Uh, intro portrait if you want to uh, hide it but for this I will uh, turn everything uh... okay intro byline so you saw this is hidden yeah this can be good if you do not want that uh, people see this uh, this name you can do that it's a good option so many good options by the way um, okay and of course we have always several tabs and the Elementor plugin so when you go to style you can uh, change the aspect ratio also let me show you what I mean <laughs> this is not so good this is not good well this is not bad for three this will be huge okay it's like that no just to keep it like this this is the most uh, standard and of course advanced you can do lots of things uh, but mostly i advise stay away from this especially if you are new and you do not want to make any errors you just uh, um, can edit the most things here so you just change the source to uh, standard it's on youtube you change it to vimeo of course and then you uh, paste the link you just go to uh, vimeo copy then paste the link here you can maybe edit the start time. You can uh, change the colors, always change this. So it's good in the style of your uh, website, of course. And then let's uh, do a test. We click on publish. Let's have a look. And then boom, there it is guys, really easy. You see, okay, the, the red is not that red, but uh, I need to check the exact uh, color code with the color uh, pick, sorry, I will, uh, yeah, make a video about that later on. So let me show my face again. So really easy. 
Um, I suppose that's everything for this small tutorial video on how to add Vimeo video to your WordPress website. As you see, as always, really easy to do, especially with this uh, Elementor plugin. So if you have any tips or questions or topics uh, that you want that I record new videos about, um, yeah, just comment below and see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.